Hi, my name is Nathan Hall, and I will be the creative in residence at the Denver Art Museum. I'm a composer primarily. I just finished my doctorate at CU Boulder, but I've also worked in several art museums like the Mattress Factory in Pittsburgh. I became really interested in writing music inspired by artwork and site and place and landscape. One of the things that I've always been told in museums is you can't make loud noises or you can't make music or you can't have fun. It's an academic place where you need to study and learn. And I really want to push people's expectations of surprise, of making things on their own, of being a part of something really creative, not just viewing something, feeling immersed in something special. I can be pretty much inspired by any artwork to make music. Sometimes a painting can give me an atmosphere or a certain feeling that I can create music off of, or sometimes I'll take elements of the work itself, maybe components of how it looks visually, um, facts about its creation or the time period that it was made, and make a piece of music about that. I made a long list of proposals of pieces that I thought I wanted to do. Um, some of them I rejected flat out. They were going to be too expensive. Uh, some of them I might put on the back burner. Maybe one of my projects doesn't work out this time. Maybe I want to switch gears midway if I find something's not as expected. My current plans for projects include playing piano in the galleries, um, situating the piano in a gallery that has works around inspired by uh, what I'll be playing. Uh, that'll also be like my home base. I'll maybe write music there or answer people's questions, maybe have a computer set up where I print out notation or work with sheet music. I also have an idea for the NG piece to have singers or bell players play the work like a visual score laid out. As the numbers change, the notes of the composition will change. I have a couple concerns or things that worry me about the residency, but most of it is my own anxiety of needing to be a perfectionist. I don't want to put out a project that isn't 100%, but I think that's a part of the process, letting people see what might not be perfect. I also kind of worry about screaming children running around all the time. I'm super excited to get started working in the galleries. And I hope that if you see me around, please stop and say hi, introduce yourself, see what I'm up to that day. My first day in residence, I want to have an open house. So we'll find out where that is exactly, and you can come and visit. Thanks so much for having me. Hey, this is Evan Weissman from Warm Cookies of the Revolution. Wait, did you want that just for a, like, for your purposes, or you're saying just start that way, Evan? Yeah, you can just start it. Okay, start again. Hey everybody, it's Evan Weissman from Warm Cookies of the Revolution. Uh, I'm really excited to be here this second week of February. Woo! It's cold today, huh? Uh, I'm beaming in live. Warm Cookies of the Revolution, beyond being just kind of a stupid name, we are a civic health club, and so we, we try to... Um, exercise our civic health and, and do that in a way that is fun and exciting. We use arts and culture to try to uh, smash that together with civic issues um, because we know people get bored if you just tell them that they're supposed to do something or they're being lectured to or they have to look at budgets. No one wants to do that. But so we bring in, you know, sword swallowers and fire and things like that. Um, we've never actually brought in sword swallowers nor fire, but it sounds cooler. I think that... Um, Right now is an important time to do this. And that's why I'm pretty excited about this because Denver is changing rapidly and uh, that is neither wholly good or bad. It's, it's, it's both. And, um, so a lot of younger people are moving here and, uh, the impact that that's having on this city is changing. Generationally, it's changing. How people give their money ph philanthropically is changing. Um, how people want to spend their time and we need artists and creative people to be at the center of that. We need to have these discussions, but we don't have many places to do that. Um, there, there just aren't many places that you can say, oh, we want to talk about X, Y, Z issue. You can't do that. So maybe doing that in the art museum uh, in a fun and engaging way is what a museum could be. 
I'm a little anxious to figure out, uh, to make it worth its while. I know that this is an experiment and I know that, um, that we can fail. Um, but, and, and that's a good thing to, to, to try things and fail. Um, but I also, I, I want it to work. <laughs> I go in hopeful. Well, thank you all very much. I'm super pumped, really excited to do this, uh, and just take over the museum and hopefully not bump up against any really important artwork. Um, but thank you all so much. So just want to say goodbye. See you. Hey, see you, Lindsay. Bye, Jill. Lindsay. Hey, Dana. Jeff, Jeff, and Jeff, you guys are all sitting together. Um, hey, Christoph, and Lindsay, hey, see ya.